Hello everyone, and as we're currently waiting for the fourth part of episode 77 to come out, I'd like to talk about what we might see in it. Because Boom gave us just a ton of new information to watch and talk about recently, as we received not only the third part but also a new secret YouTube short scene that told us a lot about what we should expect in the next part. So in today's video, I'll tell you the hottest takes on what epic stuff should actually happen in the fourth part of episode 77, and what exactly you should expect from Boom in the future. And I will also share the most recent Skibidi toilet news in this video with you as well. What is Boom plotting while we are waiting for the next part of the episode? What is the plan of Titan TV Man and TV Man Scientist? And will it Astro Juggernaut who is meant to get destroyed next? And most importantly, what characters will return to the screen in the fourth part of the episode? And what unexpected twist will we see soon? So if you want to know all the answers to these questions, then get your tea and snacks ready and prepare to watch this video to the end because I saved the best and craziest predictions that I have in store for later as always. Let's go! But before I'll start telling you my predictions about the fourth part of 77th episode, let me remind you to give this video a like and subscribe to my YouTube channel because I always appreciate your support. And also, don't forget to visit my Discord channel where you can share with me directly your own theories and predictions. Okay, so if you're subscribed now, let's continue. And first of all, I'd like to mention some cool news first. So you guys must have known about this never-ending saga of insanity that's been going on between Boom and Stake the Streamer for a while. And it started around the same time when the third part of the episode was supposed to get released. And to cut the story short, Stake flew all the way to Boom's place in order to start promoting this part of the episode, but something seemed to go horribly wrong. Or, well, it all actually came out to be as intended, but it didn't make the whole thing any less hilarious. So it was reported from the Stakes account that Boom was captured and took hostage by Officer Balls and observing this whole side quest was really funny in the real time, I must tell you. And previously, Officer Balls was kind of held accountable for deleting the third part of the episode at first, which caused a lot of anger from Stake, who was supposed to post it on Boom's YouTube. But the things actually turned out to be more serious when Officer Balls seemed to block Stake, but before that he wrote the following text. Why don't you come and rescue him, you stupid egg? I'm waiting 24 hours. You know where to find me. And of course, by writing him Officer Balls meant Boom himself, who he kind of took as a hostage. But welp, we actually got the update on this extremely serious news recently, even after the third part of the episode was posted. So Boom Discord account went online again and posted the following message to Stake. This is Alexi's mother. Unfortunately, he passed away last night from Baliosis. To which Stake replied, I am so, so sorry, R. I. P. So yeah, unfortunately, Stake the Stupid Egg was not able to save Boom in time and our beloved creator ripped out real quick. And what's even more hilarious, oh I'm sorry, I meant tragic, is that one of my subscribers even found this definition of so-called blue baliosis and sent it to my Discord channel. So, well apparently Boom was struck by an extremely intense testicle pain and we won't see him ever again. So does that mean that the next part of episode 77 will be produced by Stake? Okay, well, but if we'll get back to the serious mode for a moment, then I'll say that this whole Officer Balls saga was pretty funny and unhinged, and I hope that Boom will also put out something similar in the future instead of classic leaks dropping as he always used to do. But there is also one additional news title I'd like to share with you guys. So I noticed how Boom also shut down his online Skibidi toilet shop recently, as there will be just a black screen and an inscription. We'll be right back when you click on the link to the shop. So does that mean that Boom passed away for real and now his Skibidi empire is basically cancelled? But I have a more serious thought as well. I believe that we should expect just a giant pile of new cool Skibidi merch from him really soon, and that's why he decided to take a major update for the whole shop. And who knows? Maybe he also prepares something crazy around the fourth part of episode 77 release date. And in that case, I cannot wait to see what he'll get in store this time. Okay, and now let's move on to the actual upcoming episode, as I have a lot of things to say about it. So first of all, we all were left on the crazy cliffhanger where Titan TV Man showed up on the battlefield and battered up a couple of buffed Astro toilets. But unfortunately, he got damaged pretty heavily himself. And then Astro Juggernaut also showed up, and it was implied to us that Titan TV Man had little to no chances against such a powerful opponent in the future battle. 
And well, at least that's what we all thought before Boom published yet another part of Skibidi toilet lore, which was this YouTube shorts that lasted about one minute. But in that secret shorts, we found out that Titan TV man actually expected an emergence of some elite astro soldier, and he also knew that he may be quite underpowered to fight him. But we are were also revealed that Titan TV man had some special plan in his mind, according to which the elite astro soldier was actually supposed to show up no matter what. And we were also told that Speaker Men's race is preparing some truly crazy upgrades, which was implying that Titan Speaker Men can be buffed up as well by this moment. Okay, so having all that in mind, what can we actually expect from the fourth part of the episode? And well, the first thing that I predict to see is some twist right at the beginning of the fourth part. Titan TV Man can actually start fighting Astro Juggernaut, and of course he wouldn't be able to win on his own because he doesn't have any new upgrades aside from the purple energy shield, and it clearly wouldn't be enough to stop Juggernaut. Although according to the recent reveal, the Titan knew an elite Astro Soldier was about to emerge, so there were definitely some preparations made for it. So we know that Titan TV Man has a plan, and may still have a few tricks up his sleeve. And these tricks are not about his hidden upgrades, then it must be about the other characters which can show up and help him. And of course, the most obvious choice right now is G-Man himself. Because we all are waiting for him for such a long time already. So having him in the last part of episode 77 would make it so much more epic as a whole. And besides, his appearance could pretty much be a part of the plan Titan TV Man was talking about, considering that TV Man Scientist was actually having G-Man's upgrades in mind in order to win the war against Astro Toilets. And the other one of the most plausible predictions is the involvement of Titan Speaker Man. It would be possible that just when it seems like Titan TV Man is on the verge of defeat, Titan Speakerman could arrive on the scene to lend a hand. And this would also align with the hints that the Speakerman's race is preparing significant upgrades on their own, as it was revealed to us that their armada is getting ready to fight from the shorts. And if Titan Speakerman already appears fully upgraded, then he could change the course of the whole battle. And what if there wouldn't be just G-Man or Titan Speakerman to appear? What is both of them will actually show up, and it all will lead to one of the most epic fights in the history of Skibidi Toilets. And if Astro Juggernaut will be the only powerful opponent against them, then it's pretty plausible that it's going to be the last episode for him, as he would be lured to a fatal trap. And speaking of Titan Speakerman, what I also expect to see is the reveal of the true battle potential of Speakerman's race. Because up until now, the Skibidi Toilet series has primarily focused on the cameramen and TV men races, while the speakermen have remained more of a mystery. So the fourth part could finally reveal the full potential of the speakermen as soldiers and not just comedians. And now, with Titan speakermen possibly receiving some significant upgrades, we might finally witness the true strength of this race, which has been hinted at, but not never fully explored yet. And do you also remember how Boom promised to get Speaker Woman back to the series one day? So maybe that would be a perfect opportunity for her. Okay, but there is also a possibility that Astro Juggernaut won't be the only one from Elite Astro Soldiers. Because I also expect some members of the Astro Squad to appear, such as Astro Duchess and UFO Toilet. Because if the Elite Squad also shows up, the fight could become even more intense. And heck, what about the return of Astro Detainer too? He was last seen in episode 72, but what if he was restored and now he'd come back and take his revenge against G-Man? That would be just insane. And the very last thing I'd like to mention is some crazy theory I have in mind. And there isn't any basis for it really from the actual series, but I just think that it would be really crazy if Boom really turned the plot into such a direction. So what if we'll actually witness a betrayal from some Astro Toilet in the fourth episode? So this one Astro would actually switch sides and join G-Man, who as we know could have been an Astro Toilet himself long time ago, before actually cutting ties with this merciless faction. And I don't know who this might be, and what can be their reasons for a betrayal, but oh boy, if this is the plan Titan TV Man was actually talking about, then my head will definitely explode by the time the fourth part comes out. And that was all for today. Write in the comments below about how excited you are to see the next episode, and be sure to subscribe to my channel not to miss my new videos, and also to my Discord where you can contact me directly and get lots of info for my subscribers only. And that was me, Isotoilet. See ya!